Manchester United cruise past Barnsley in the Carabao Cup third round and the United Twins need to speak about it. United, United. Blessings to everybody inside including yourself Cappy. Yeah. Manchester United 7. Barnsley nil, and it was an unproblematic and welcome performance. Fresh off the victory against Southampton too. Eric Ten Hag rotated the team so the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Lissandra and co could get somewhat of a rest while opportunities for others presented themselves. Casemiro was alongside Manuel Ugarte who started in his first game in a United shirt. Toby nice. Collier who gave an, a good account of himself in that difficult second half against Liverpool was given the start and played substantial minutes. And how can I forget random stat? Well, Random fact, Altair Bayern Deer, hey. I believe played in his second ever game for the club. <laughs> Shout out to him. Come on. He's been on the sidelines for a minute. Positives is that we were clinical today in taking control of the game. Um, having Marcus Rashford get a couple more goals to celebrate. Taking down Garnacho, switch delightfully and finishing the rest for his first. Played in for his second and finished well with the left peg. Anthony was in the conversations of Eric Ten Hag prior to this game when he reinforced the process of having to work for a spot in this squad. Won and was given the penalty to take, converted well. I can admit it, it will still be an uphill battle for him to elevate once again because of the competition he faces on that right flank, mixed in with evidence of the past. His words of determination to prove that as wrong from a few weeks ago were true, then I guess only time will tell. Yes, yeah, CM and, and look, we we briefly touched on Barnsley. Sadly for them today, it was a really straightforward fixture, not for them, for Manchester United. One-way traffic control as you'd expect to go with what you said earlier. Alejandro Garnacho hasn't even been a consistent starter this season. Already has six goal contributions in five appearances, three of those games being off the bench. All aspects of confidence boosting, which for any side is important. Eriksen getting back to back games, back to back starts, getting two goals in quick succession today, and coming off a decent performance against Southampton too getting minutes under the legs of guys who haven't quite featured as much just yet. Some of our guaranteed starters also got to come on later and, and contribute. I am well aware that it also means nothing if inconsistencies continue. Yeah. That is the reoccurring conversation with Manchester United and something that fans including us will be demanding to change. At least for tonight, we can enjoy what was our Halfway into the fourth round, Eric Ten Hag's biggest win as Manchester United manager. We'll find out our opponents for the fourth round of the Carabao Cup next week, Wednesday, I believe, after the final set of fixtures conclude. So with Crystal Palace fast approaching on the weekend, as these days fly by. 2024 is breeze past, man. God, man. Sure. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to our eagle eyed fam. <laughs> Check out the intro. Good rap. But overall, they've had a difficult start to this season. Haven't been able to ride off the magical 12 games under Oliver Glasner to end last season. No league wins thus far. Just salvaged a draw on the weekend against Leicester City. Their two victories have in fact come in the Carabao Cup against Norwich and QPR tonight. We'll go more in depth about the head to head and such during our vibe check later this week. Look out for that. But for now, we can appreciate a game where Manchester United scored seven on the Champions League night. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Let us know how you felt about the game. If there was anything to take into account heading into Saturday and more. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Subscribing if you're new, sharing to your friends and frenemies. And until the next time, you know it. We'll see you lot soon. Bit.